How's it going everyone? My name is Nathan and today I want to show you how to enable reactive lighting with your Logitech G peripherals. Now if you don't have G-Hub already installed, I'll have a link up in the top here of uh, how to install it. I'll also have a link down in the bottom to take you directly to the install page. Um, but assuming you have it, let's get started. This is the main Logitech G-Hub page here. You're gonna go ahead and see all of your peripherals here that are connected. I have the Logitech G Pro gaming keyboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And we're gonna go to the audio, sorry, the presets effects. And we wanna go to screen sampler. We're gonna start with screen sampler right now and just show you some of the settings here. Real quick, we have these boxes. These boxes are what's picking up the light source of the screen and they're gonna display the lights on the keyboard. Now, for some reason in Logitech G Hub, the lights do not show up on the keyboard here. So I'm actually going to show you my keyboard as it looks uh, in real time. Okay, so I'm going to move this right here to the top. Okay, and we're going to press edit. Now we're in here and you can move each of these boxes around as you want. And I'm just going to show you one quick pattern and then it kind of explain why I did it. So we're going to go ahead and put the left side in the middle. We're going to put the mid left here, middle in the middle, and then the right here and the mid right on the actual right. Now, as you can see, the left is in the orange and yellow and the mid right is in the orange and yellow. And on the screen down at the bottom, you can see that my keyboard is actually lit up where the left side is orange and the right side is orange and the middle is blue. Now, the reason that I that um, I did it this way is because for some reason the right side of the keyboard is actually only lighting up the top part of my keyboard. It doesn't light up the right side and that might just be because I have the Logitech G Pro gaming keyboard and there's another one that works better for it maybe. But this is what, for this keyboard, what works. So we have the mid right works as my right side and the left works as my left. These two basically work as the middle because the mid left works as the mid left and the middle works as the mid right for some reason. So that's how it is. So I just kind of, I put them over top of each other so that it just kind of blends in and whatever's in the middle is gonna happen. Um, if my screen lights up, you know, I get hit by someone uh, playing Apex, the screen's gonna light up red on the sides, right? So my keyboard on the sides, they're gonna light up a little bit red and the middle's gonna stay the same color. So it's a really cool function that you can use if you have like a green pasture in front of you, you're going to see green in the middle and everything. Super fun. And that's pretty much it. You can change the size, but I haven't really figured out a use for it as it doesn't see, as you can see, it doesn't pick up any extra bits. Um, it just kind of stays the same anyway. I don't, maybe I can, maybe it gives you a little more blue, I guess. Maybe it picks up some more light patterns, but it doesn't really change too much. So we're going to go ahead and keep it like this um, and just show you the oh yeah and if you want to restore it back to defaults of course at the very bottom here you can do that we're gonna go ahead and back up to audio visualizer now now an audio visualizer you can actually change the colors of what's coming out but audio visualizer is obviously gonna take the audio of whatever you're listening to and it's gonna play it um, it's gonna it's gonna give you a visual of like the bass or the sound quality right and I'll go ahead and show you a sample but first let's go ahead and change the color so to start off with you can change the background color that's gonna change the initial color of whatever you're doing you're gonna want to change it because it's gonna be at the bottom left here in the black so no matter what color you change it to it's gonna stay black until you move this little dial up uh, somewhere where it actually has some light so as you can see it's now red I'm gonna change it to blue because everyone likes blue right and then we're going to change the color. That's the color that shows up when the audio comes through. We're going to change that to pink or something. That's fine. Um, and color mode fixed. You have a few different things. We're going to do reactive because that sounds fun. Um, high, low color, high color. So we're going to have... I'll probably change it to yellow. That way you get the actual visual of all of it. Okay, so now you can see that the screen is blue. My keyboard's blue, and you can actually see it here. I don't, so the other one you can't really see. I don't know why that is, but this one you can. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and play a sample song. This is non copyright. I made this myself real quick. So, as you can see, it's showing up. 
And when the base comes through, you can see the pink or red that I put in. Yeah, we, so we have the high color red, the deep blue, and then the yellow to show like the, the softer tone, right? And that's pretty much it. So yeah, we have the audio visualizer, which of course picks up the audio, and then we have the screen sampler, and you can change where you want it to pick up the light sources for your keyboard or mouse, whatever you're using. So yeah, I hope this video helped. If it did, please hit that like button. You have a good rest of your day or night, and I'll see you next video.